Bounce fam, today I want to talk to you about a very special project uh, that I finally got completed. Uh, if you guys have been following the channel, you've seen it before. If you're not, uh, please uh, subscribe, like the video. It helps the algorithm. It helps you get notified anytime that we have things coming on. I think there's a little bell icon you can uh, connect to, click on, etc., etc. Also, if you're not in our Facebook community, please join the Facebook community. Uh, it's very straightforward. It's bdl.ai slash Facebook. That's the quick link to it. All right. B now I just want to get into this bag with you guys real quick. So this is the Pandora Voyager 50 liter bag. All right. I'm not going to call it a duffel. I'm not going to call it a weekender. I'm not going to call it anything. I'm just going to say this is the Pandora 50 liter Voyager pack. All right. Here's how it works. We're going to open it up. All right. We have pockets over here beautiful discovery pattern on the inside uh we have the ultra grid from challenge sail cloth outside this beautiful black beauty checkmate pattern you have two uh clips right over here so if you want to carry it like a normal duffel bag you want to put it over your shoulder you can do that if not you want to carry a briefcase carry like this you can do that uh there's another way to carry it which i'll show you guys in a bit but let's get inside this bag real quick so that you got your first pocket over here when I open this whole cavity up, all right, you're gonna have a huge volume inside of here. It's like, literally, if you look at it, there's so much going on inside of this bag. On the rear panel over here, you have dedicated ultra stretch pockets, which you can put anything inside of. You can literally fit EDC items inside of it. You can fit uh, like small pouches inside of it. Here, this is not one of our products, but something I love from uh, one of my favorite companies, Evergoods. This is the Cap 2. A lot of you people own these. A lot of you people know how big it is. Look, cap two, look at that, like a glove, right to the top, all right? So you got it stored in here really, really nicely. So that is the volume of this bag. Now, if you wanna put in a water bottle with a protein shaker and you wanna do that, cool, do that. You wanna put in other stuff, like, you know, we have our products over here, like the 4D, this is the 4DC sling. So you can actually get this 4DC sling into this pocket just like this. So let's say you're carrying it. Of course, if it's fully, fully packed out, it's really gonna stretch the pocket, I don't recommend it. But if you wanna carry it because you're gonna get to your destination, that's gonna be your sling of choice. Pull it out, use it, right? In addition to that, there's bungees everywhere. So this here is a bungee web, right? A bungee webbing, you're gonna put it right like this, okay? You're gonna close it up just like that. And then when you have stuff in here, you can cinch it down. So that gives you even more versatility. If you have stuff that needs to go down here, you're, you might be wondering why we have these bungees here. Two reasons. Number one reason is, so if you have stuff that you really need to put under there that you don't want moving, whether it's a, a water bottle, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you why you would have a water bottle if it was being carried like this, right? Because there's another way to carry it, which is upright, and I'll get into that in a second. But in addition to this, this also serves as a compression strap. And we're gonna get to that in just one second. Over here, you have another pocket. Okay, another full-size pocket over here. On the top panel, you have even more pockets. So if you go over here, you have even more pockets in here that you can store a lot of, uh, you know, different items, trinkets, whatever you want. All right, all right, let's flip this guy over and take a look what I wanna show you guys. So boom, now it's upside down. And if you're looking at it right over here, you see another U-shaped compartment over here. Now what's going on with this U-shaped compartment? I'm gonna show you. We're gonna open this up. We're gonna open this up. You're gonna see one, two, three, four zipper pullers over here. And this is how they're gonna work. This is what's gonna allow you to open this panel up and pull out these backpack straps, all right? So you can look at the inside over here. You see that you have these completely hideaway backpack straps and they're gonna open up just like this. And these are real backpack straps, by the way. These are not some, this is not an afterthought. Like I, I've seen a lot of brands out there and they're gonna just tack it on just to say that they have it. No, this is not what we did. I think this right here, the Nexus 20 liter day pack is one of the best products that we've ever come out with. And if you look at it, these are the same backpack straps that are found on our flagship backpack. And you're gonna find the same exact straps on this Pandora Voyager 50 liter, okay? So the straps are gonna come out. Now check this out. There's a lot of uh, 
A lot of, uh, I guess, ingenuity and a lot of engineering has gone into this thing. So you have your backpack straps over here, okay? Where do you attach them? Right over here. I'm gonna get these out of the way. Remember these little uh, uh, zip pulls that I told you about? You're gonna open these up, you're gonna put your hand in there and you're gonna take out, you're gonna go in here and you're gonna take out these straps right over here, okay? So you have these uh, bottom attached backpack straps here, just like that. You're gonna pop it on and you're gonna pop it on and now you have a full backpack. Not only do you have a full backpack, when you're wearing this backpack on your back, you also have it set up like this. So you have your pocket over here, which goes all the way, kind of like a quick access pocket. You have another Velcro panel over here so you can display your patches over here. And of course, when you are carrying it the other way, you have this huge Velcro panel over here, okay? Anyone that's wondering the dimensions of the bag, it is roughly 24 inches, by 12 inches by 12 inches, all right? That's the rough dimensions of the bag. So back to this right here, which I wanna talk about. It doesn't end here. So I'm gonna get these out of the way and I'm gonna to explain to you how else you can actually use this. So let's say you're using it as a backpack carry and you have a lot of heavy stuff in this bag and it's really weighing down on you and maybe you're like walking up a mountain or whatever it is. This is why this section over here was purpose built. So what you can do is you can get a hip attachment, right? And you can put in, and it's gonna work with a lot of different hip attachments. Even if you go to like a hiking store or REI or something, you're gonna be able to go over there and you're gonna be able to get any hip attachment. And that's basically what it's gonna do. It's just gonna go in one side, it's gonna come out the other side, and then you're gonna clip it and you're gonna be a lot of the, I guess what I was gonna say, which sounds kind of cliche, it's gonna take the weight off of your shoulders, which literally is what it's gonna do. So I guess I said it. All right, so it's gonna take the weight off of your shoulders. As crazy as it sounds, that is one of the other reasons that we developed it this way. Now, another feature of this, I'm just gonna put these back in because we don't really need to use them right now, is you can also use this entire cavity for more storage. Not only can you uh, store other stuff in here, to get even more volume, it is padded also. It is also padded, very densely padded over here. So when you put it down, it's not gonna, you know, like destroy whatever's in here. You could use it theoretically as a tech compartment. Now, if you decide to use it as a dedicated tech compartment, I would caution you to either have your tech inside of something else, like a thick pouch or laptop sleeve or whatever it is, or Make sure that you're only carrying it on your back and it's completely zipped up after the fact. I really don't recommend it for that use, but here's what I do recommend it for. A hydration plaque, a hydration bladder works really, really good in this area. And it works so good that we even decided to just go ahead and if you look underneath here, you're gonna see that there's a grommet right over here. And this grommet is gonna allow you to pass a hose right through and have a hydration pack over here. And why I really like that is because if you're going somewhere where you're gonna be out for an uh, extended period of time or you're going to a sporting event or whatever where you need access to water and you constantly need to be taking a sip of water here and there, this makes it a really, really convenient idea to have a hydration component right over here. You don't have to use it, but you'll just know that it's there, all right? So basically closing this back up, we're just gonna go right over here we're gonna take these these straps, we're gonna pop them right back in. We're gonna take these zippers, we're gonna close these up here. And just like that, we're done with this side, all right? This side over here, another pocket, we're gonna open it up, this will be the back side. Again, you have a huge pocket with a huge cavity over here, you can stuff even more things inside of. I mean, a lot of, a lot of stuff can go inside of here, okay? The front, in case we haven't talked about it, let's talk about it. You got another pocket, similar to the back, right over here, but in addition to that, you also have this pocket over here, which has, which is where I stored the web lock system, and you have your color matched, you have your color matched strap right over here, so you can carry it around your shoulder, and this mesh, kind of like a divider system here, where you have a mesh pocket back here, and then you have another deep pocket right over here, so you can organize your uh, you can organize your belongings however you need. Okay. One final item I want to talk about uh, on the bag itself on the well on the side or interior access of the bag. If you look over here, 
These are dedicated compartments that can be used for a lot of different things. So when I originally designed this bag, this compartment was meant to hold shoes, right? So you have a shoe compartment here and you have another compartment over here. Now it doesn't have to be limited to shoes. Just know that you have two compartments on the bottom of the bag. And I wanna show you guys exactly what happens because I took a lot of your thoughts, considerations, comments, especially those of you that are on YouTube and you were responding to me on how to make this bag better. I did it, okay? Because now when you put the original bag, when it, it was just open, right? So when you put something in here, it would just take away, it would suck away all the space. Like you would put something in here and you would have like this much space left over to put stuff. Not anymore. Now when you put stuff in here because the bag is larger, deeper, wider, you can put two pairs of shoes in here and they're gonna sit comfortably on here, right? And what's gonna end up happening is just this panel is gonna raise up by whatever you have underneath. And it doesn't just have to be shoes. It can also be, maybe you wanna put some dirty laundry in there, right? Maybe you wanna put something that you don't wanna get mixed up. Like, I don't know, maybe you got some food or something. It's in a Tupperware and you're like, oh, I wanna keep it in its own pocket. You do you. And the magic of the interior, it doesn't end here. It doesn't end with these two great pockets on the side that you can put a lot of stuff in. But you guys see these clips over here. Do you see these four clips right over here? I'm gonna undo them. And before I say it, let's see if you guys can work out what they're really for. So, of course you can hide stuff under there if you really wanted to. And I feel like Bounce Design Labs is known for making secret pockets and everything. But this is not really one of those type of situations. What this is for is when you're traveling, you have your clean clothes in here, right? And that's given that you aren't using these for dirty clothes, these, these compartments on the side. What you can do is you can bifurcate your clothes by taking the clean clothes. Once you wear them, you take them off, they're dirty, they're not washed yet. You can slide the clothes right under here. And what's gonna end up happening is this part here is gonna start compressing the bag down. So as you put your clothes, they're gonna come up, but these bungees are gonna keep the clothes compressed down. So inside of the bag itself, there's a clean to dirty management system. I don't have a name for it. Maybe you guys can come up with a name for it and tell me what it is, but that is the purpose of these right here. So you're gonna see it's the backside of this beautiful Discovery Twill Ultra Fabric again liner, and that's gonna go right over here. You're gonna put your clothes in, and you really don't have to open up both sides, but if you want to, you can. But this, as you travel, is gonna keep your clothing separated. So if you wanna keep dirty separated from clean, there you have it, all right? And there you go. So that is just one more feature of this beautiful Pandora Voyager 50 liter pack. So I wanna talk about this system right over here, right? We're calling it Weblock. This is how it works, very easily. I'm just gonna get this out of the way here. I have it set up with a basketball right now. This is a full-size basketball, adult-sized basketball. You can fit anything else in here. It doesn't have to be a basketball. You can put packing cubes in here. Whatever it is, it's so versatile that you can use it if you're going out at a sporting event, you know, you're playing, uh, whatever. You want to uh, put soccer ball in it. You want to put uh, gloves in it. Wh whatever you want to put in it, you can put it in it. It's going gonna, it's gonna to keep it compressed down like this because it's got these bungee straps over here so it'll expand even if you have huge volume on here but essentially if i wanted to just take this basketball out i can just unclip you know any two straps over here and now i got this little cavity and i can just grab my basketball out of it you know get it out of the way and that's done so this here the way the system works is you have these uh these buckles over here and that's it there's there's 10 of them right so you just undo the buckles just like that and that's it now the system's out of the way right that's it that's the whole system right there very very unique very very novel and that is going to let you expand the capacity even further than the 50 liters the bag already gives now let's talk about this bungee system as if the web lock harness was not enough we have this huge like area right here which you can actually put a lot of stuff in i mean you can put jackets in here down jackets literally for your whole family you're just going to loosen this up just like any other bungee open it up put whatever you, a lot of space you can put whatever you need into it boom once you got it in there just cinch it down boom there you go ready to go so again 
it expands the versatility of this bag and the carry of this bag far beyond the 50 liters of storage you get on the inside.